Hi, I'm Annabelle. I am an artist. I love food, nature, and people. As one of the oldest human inventions, pottery has been around since before the Neolithic period, with objects dating as far back to 29,000 BC. While in the past, the pottery industry has served marginal niches, Today's pottery companies are thriving. So my ceramic art at the moment is focusing on the coral reef. So I'm using a, a porcelain called black onyx porcelain to uh, create form. We will be foraging in the woods, looking for things to incorporate into our summer willow reef. And Parrot's Drumble will be the most magical setting for this season. As a personal chef, I have the opportunity to meet people from all walks of life. And I'm able to travel across the world and find out about what people like to eat, what they don't. Um, so I've cooked things from classic British food, roasts, all the way to sushi. It's all hands on deck as we launch our coastal cleanup. We want you to get out there and help us reach our goal of 12,000 coastal cleanups. Art can help with your mental health because it can help you to express what's happening inside you. And it's a portal for healing and self-development. Now the first one is my personal favourite. I just love it. It's a trend that's hot-footed its way over here from Los Angeles, Barry's Boot Camp. Is this a good one? There are lots of art initiatives all across the UK striving for better mental health. And here's how. There are some wild claims about food types that are bad for you. Eating processed meats is as bad for you as smoking. Drinking milk causes cancer. Fish is toxic. Just how bad are these claims? And what is the science behind them? I want to find out.